and let me explain it so it's really clear. And I'm sorry if you can't take the intensity, get out. If you can't take the intensity, just go, 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 because you can't take it. I'm gonna explain the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict once more. Now, earlier I did this on YouTube Live. This time I'm gonna be a little bit more direct and I'm gonna read some of the examples that I saw on Facebook today. Just because you don't understand the law or the theory of law or the concepts of America doesn't mean that something racist just because you want it to be, I'm sorry. Now, I have a website called DeleteLaws.com, Delete Laws with a Z. When you go to DeleteLaws.com, it says defining institutional racism on a timeline. I've been explaining the institutional racism of America since June 19th of 2021. So if this was racist, who do you think would point it out? Who would be the first person to go, oh my God, that's racist. That would be me. That would be me. I've spent so many years studying the law. All those years I was on Facebook before I deleted my account and I came back. How many times have you guys see me ranting and raving about cops? My uncle would say, you're ranting and raving. Now I'm ranting and raving because the amount of pure ignorance I keep seeing and it's frustrating me. It really is. Just because you want something to be racist, I have clearly defined institutional racism. The videos I've produced since June have been seen more than 20 million times all around the world. That doesn't mean that I'm smarter than you. It just means I understand the theory and the concept of law better than you do. And so now it's a freaking competition. But you cannot compare Ahmaud Arbery with Kyle Rittenhouse. And let me explain it so it's really clear. There is something called natural law in the United States of America. Natural law. It's defined by John Locke. And it's the principle of three separate things. Life, liberty, and property. Now, you have a right to life, you have a right for your own life, you have a right to defend life, and if you take a life, your life should be taken if you murder someone. This is John Locke's philosophy, it's not mine. And this is the foundation of the principles of America. Our entire system is based on John Locke's theory of natural law. Now, you cannot compare Ahmaud Arbery or Jacob Blake or Elijah McClain, you cannot compare it because we live under the social contract defined by Jean-Jacques Mont- Jean Rousseau. Here, this man here, he defines a social contract. And he says the government is to provide protection, shelter, food, and warmth. And then you live under the social contract and you live under a series of laws, right? Pretty simple. So John Locke's natural law, life, liberty, property, Jean-Jacques Rousseau philosophy of the social contract, protection, food, warmth, and shelter right? Now, we have either rule of law or without rule of law. In a society that's based on rule of law, you live under the social contract where the government provides protection and you live under a set of laws. In Kenosha, where Kyle Rittenhouse went, there was no rule of law. The police had cordoned off an area and said, on this side of the line is rule of law and over here is no rule of law. Pretty simple. Is that what happened in Jacob Blake's case? No, it's not. Jacob Blake's case is clearly defined in the 1985 holding of Tennessee versus Garner that says that police cannot shoot you in the back as you run away unless it's in the name of officer safety. It's a Supreme Court holding whether I like it or not. I think it's disgusting. Tennessee versus Garner is racist in origins. I've defined it a dozen times to millions of people over the past six months. Tennessee versus Garner is racist. Jacob Blake's shooting was racist. Elijah McClain was a racist maneuver. I can go on and on and on with cases that are racist in origin. Kyle Rittenhouse went into a place where natural law was invoked because the social contract failed to be upheld by the government. It's very simple. That's not racist. That's natural law. You have a right to defend yourself if someone tries to take away your stick. I gave an example earlier on YouTube Live and I couldn't be quite as direct, quite as direct or quite as aggressive because people were watching and they were asking questions. If you try to take away my stick, then that puts my life in danger when I'm in a place that no social contract is invoked. 
If there's no social contract, the natural law becomes the premise. Natural law starts. Meaning that you have no more right to life than I do. I have the same right to life as you do. You don't have the right to disarm me because there's no rule of law. You're not a police officer. You're not an authority of the government. You're not working under the social contract. So when you compare stupid things, it's frustrating for people who understand. It really is. I'm reading your stuff on Facebook and it is probably some of the dullest things I've ever seen. I have defined institutional racism in America. Jacob Blake being shot in the back seven times is based on Tennessee versus Garner, which is based off Eugene Garner being shot in the back in 1974. The case goes to the Supreme Court in 1985. Terry versus Ohio is a racist law against John Terry so that black people can be grabbed by the police after the civil rights movement. Terry versus Ohio is racist in origins. Wilson versus Arkansas says that police cannot no knock raid your home unless it's in the name of officer safety. Wilson, Wilson versus Arkansas is racist in origins. Okay. There are things that are racist. I've clearly defined them for months and months and months and months. I've defined institutional racism in America 10 dozen times. Forgive me for being so aggressive. The ignorance is just staggering. You have a right to defend your life under natural law, like it or not. If the government does not provide the social contract defined by Jean-Jacques Rousseau, the social contract, if the government does not uphold the social contract, then we follow the natural law. Very simple, very simple. So when you do a false equivalency and you call it racist, you push the right away and you need the right to vote with you. I'm stuck in the middle between the left and the right because I'm all for reparations for black people because we screwed American descendants of slavery, we screwed them, it's racist. That's racist. We cut black people out of economic prosperity in the 1926 case of Corrigan versus Buckley. That's racist. That's a racist holding. I can show you dozens of laws that are racist in holdings. The holding means what the Supreme Court held to be law. And that is based on the supremacy clause. That whatever the Supreme Court says is supreme that it then becomes a part of our Bill of Rights and a part of our Constitution. Please don't say stupid shit. It's annoying as, it's annoying. There is racist laws created in America. Kyle Rittenhouse did not create a racist situation. He went into a situation that had no rule of law. There are two types, rule of law, without rule of law. If there is without rule of law, you then fall back to natural law. If you say stupid shit and you say things that are racist, that are not racist, and a guy who spent months laying out the institutional racism of America, and you say stupid shit, I'm gonna come at you and I'm gonna say it. I've had to curb myself with my friends because what I've learned is that the way I respond to people on Facebook, right, in my comments, uh, it, 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 I've learned, I've learned. <laughs> this is only like my sixth or seventh Facebook account, right? Because I've learned that I can hurt friends and family if I get too aggressive in their commentary. So this is gonna go on my page, okay? I have spent months defining institutional racism and you wanna go down the line, here it is. Dred Scott is racist. The Slaughterhouse case is racist. Reese is racist. Krukshank is racist. Lone Wolf is racist. Giles versus Teasley is racist. Corrigan versus Buckley is racist. Terry versus Ohio is racist. Pennsylvania versus Mim is racist. Graham versus Connor is racist. Johnson versus Glick is racist. Red versus United States is racist. Florida versus Harris is racist. Wilson versus Arkansas is racist. Tennessee versus Garner is racist. There is racism in the criminal justice system. The foundation of natural law is not racist. If you didn't know it, now you know. You have to get the right to vote with you. You have to get people that you're calling racist 
to vote with you to overturn these racist laws. We need them. They're not deplorable and they're not all racist. Kyle Rittenhouse, life, liberty, property, John Locke's theory of natural law. When the rule of law exits under the social contract and there's no more social contract, the natural law is invoked. That's it, that's it, that's it.